Hey guys, I just got the latest release of Tesla's uh, update. Firmware is version 7.1234100. And uh, from the firm firmware tracker, it is actually the latest version of the firmware. Oops. Uh, so from the release notes, this is what it says. And uh, I found something really peculiar with the firmware, which is that uh, it's no longer uh, using the interior sensors. I think they've disabled it for some reason. Maybe because they haven't figured out a way to make them work reliably but they have since disabled it with this version so uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to reboot the system and uh, by to reboot the system you do the two two thing two thumb uh, pushes so I'm gonna put you down for a second Hopefully you can see this hard to do with both my hands. One, two, three, four, and then the screen goes blank. And then uh, it's rebooting. So now it will never detect um, phantom obstacle. And uh, I think I figured out why. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up and then I'm going to move to the back seat uh, I mean the, the second row I'm going to show you actually let me get out first and show you uh, that some of the features still work so um, when you open the door remember there are capacitive sensors here once you touch it it still works uh, and then uh, when you uh, uh, touch any of these, uh, you can hear them. They are called the pinch sensors. They still work actually. When I close them, it does that new feature which is once it detects something, uh, it stops and then opens it up a little bit. So I can try it again touch the pinch sensor over here it will bounce up a little bit so the problem was that um, let me open this up again there are supposed to be sensors here that detect when your hand is here or sensors here right here that detect when your hands are here why why is that so when you're sitting in here the the outside seats if someone were to put their hand like this when the falcon wing doors are coming down you're supposed to detect them if you want you can take a look at this other video that i have um, that shows the sensors working right i'll link it right here for you to go and watch it when you get a chance but let me show you something now uh, when I close it and when it's coming down if I tap on it no longer responds at all zero response so let's try on the rear ones it, I don't understand why Tesla did this so I'm gonna shut it it's going to come down and then I'm going to use my hand. So now it does not do anything. Did they just screw up one of my doors? I doubt it. Let me try it on this side. So now let's shut it. And I have my hand here. Is 
zero response. That's great. Let's open it again. Try the rear ones. Now it's coming down. This one. So why would Tesla disable these in the latest firmware release? Uh, the only thing I can think of is they can't figure out how to make them work. So now these Falcon Wing doors are without uh, the function of these sensors. The ones that are in here and the ones that are in here that prevent people from getting their hands mangled. I'm not going to put my hand there because uh, I'm not stupid. Uh, these things come down with a lot of force and uh, yeah, I, it, it's not, uh, not going to be fun uh, having your hand there when it actually closes down with whatever the force is before it stops. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the heck's up with the Tesla. But this is unbelievable that they did this. Uh, removing a safety feature that they had just because they cannot figure out how to make it work. So I guess they've been getting a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. And with, with all the complaints, to silence the complaints, what do you do? You turn off the feature and take whatever consequences come along. So here we go again. I'm going to turn this off. i put my hand here. Nothing. How dare they. So let's try this side. I'm going to stand up here. We're going to activate the close. Put my hand here. We saw in other videos. It's not doing it anymore. But when it's closing, it relies on these two. Over here. Over here and uh, the pinch sensing strips, which are not going to sense this part of it. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, I have something I'm going to bring and see what happens. Now that these sensors have been disabled, that sensor, I have something that I want to try. This is a pretty hard cucumber and uh, I'm going to put it in the way of the closing, like right here, where they disabled the obstacle detection. So here we go. <coughs> Fucking A, motherfucker. So it did stop, it made a mess, as you can see, it fell, and uh, look at this, it makes a great uh, cucumber slicer, yeah, that's great, thanks Tesla for uh, removing a safety feature. You're, you're starting to become one of the great companies out there, just like Ford and GM and stuff, covering up shit. If it doesn't work, let people know. You don't remove a safety feature without telling people. That's just insane. So stupid.